Hello, 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 good people. Hello, good people. I am Dr. Holly Kelly. This is Dr. Kelly's Perspective for Monday, June 8th. We are ripping through the month, the, the sixth month of the year already. I'm on a little early and typically chime in with you all noonish and I have um, I have a meeting in a few moments so I knew I had to come on early so thanks for jumping in there jumping on with me I got a couple of things I'd like to say just my perspective okay <laughs> it is only my perspective hey Miss Keisha and Kim I see the K's in the house today just my perspective um, having a conversation with someone and this person said to me well you know it's, it's not about black people and white people it's not about black versus white it's it's a matter of the heart and because this is my perspective I'm going to give you just that now he meant that from my perspective, he meant that in the same way that people were called, um, well, when someone, when you say something to someone and says, I'm praying about that. And depending on how it's delivered to me, I take that as a, get out of my face. Because most people, when you say you're praying about stuff, they're not going to come and say, well, you know, you don't challenge that. <laughs> you don't say, oh, well, what is the Lord saying to you? Or, you know, you're just not going to challenge it. I got all kind of chimes and reminders going off here. Um, you, you just don't come back and challenge that. And so if you want somebody off your back without, you know, necessarily creating an argument, then you just say, well, I'm praying about that. And I'll, I'll you know, I'll get back with you. I'll let you know. <laughs> and so when this person says, well, that it's a matter of the heart. It's not black and white. I, I took that, and it wasn't a static conversation. I, I know the person. We've had conversations previously. So I, I have context around his thoughts. But to say, well, that's a matter of the heart, that, that keeps people at a distance. Why? Because nobody knows my heart. You don't know my heart, so get up off me. It, it gives the same kind of polite way to say back up and don't leave me alone about that because we don't know each other's hearts and so you just say well that's a heart issue um that that was a you know a, a dodge a dodge to say leave me alone about that and so the conversation goes you know what i agree it's a heart issue i think it's one heart thinking that it's superior to the other heart I think it's one heart thinking that it's better than the other heart. I think it's one heart thinking that it's, you know, it's luckier, it's smarter, it's braver, it's got more connections, it's more deserving than the other heart. Then that, that turns the conversation. <laughs> My whole point in all of this, I, you know, hey Sherry, Lenny, thanks for all who are jumping on with me. I, I just think that if we're going to take advantage of the momentum of what is happening, that we have to be able to start a conversation and we have to have enough courage to be awkward in the conversation. Well, what if I get it wrong and I don't wanna hurt anybody? We are gonna get it wrong. We are gonna mess it up. We're gonna be awkward. We're gonna misspeak at times. Um, but, but the point is, get the conversation started never does me well to say, well, you know my heart. It doesn't impact my heart, so it's not my problem. Oh, that's another perspective. Absolutely. And and I, I say that even if it has not come into your home, do you not have a responsibility to understand another person's perspective? Minimally, if you've never been touched by any of the isms, do we not have a responsibility to understand what is happening in the nation? Minimally, understand it. And not from someone who too has not been impacted. We have to go to the impacted and ask for their perspective. 
let me let me see let me share I want to understand um, and so just a thought I got a meeting to get to so I want to leave that thought with you and so that you can perhaps get a, a response ready when people say I'm, I'm praying about it leave that alone or it's a it, I know my heart that's the polite way to say back up and get out of my face <laughs> Much love, tremendous respect. I'll see you this re the rest of the week, noonish. Take real good care of yourselves in the meantime.